Okay, it's a video of the components of a Yamaha R6 YZF 2002. So, what we have here, that's the top part of it. And you got a washer, then this aluminium tube, then another washer, then you got the spring. And it's got a top and a bottom, so I put the tape to mark where the top is. And there's that rod there that goes inside that, as you can see there's a hole there, it goes inside that tube there. And this is like the right front fork. And that is a bolt which goes into there. You gotta undo that in order to get to the bolt which is in there. It's like a hex, it's a big hex bolt. So, first thing you do to get this thing apart, like this is what it looks like when you take it apart, pretty much. So, first thing you do. As you loosen that off when it's on the bike loosen that off next thing you do is go down to that that and there there's a hex hex nut and you just want to loosen that off don't don't take it right out just loosen it off um, and then the next thing I've done Next thing you do is you unscrew this one. Unscrew that and just pull it apart. Disassemble it. And it's really that easy. You just want to drain the fork oil after you take this one off. Because just tip it upside down. Yeah, and I'll show you the next part. Which is removing the old fork seals which are inside that now I've come to wanting to remove this part from the stanchion I think it is from the actual fork and what you have to do with the with the Yamaha YZF R6 you have to actually make a tool which is, you can see that in there there's like a wreck um, a square shaped indent you have to actually buy the tool or what I done is I made my own one and this is it so it's just a bit of galvanized pipe and a socket I use the socket and it looks a little bit rough but it does the job so I've just welded that socket onto that pipe then um got an angle grinder and I've just made that round the round end of it, I've made it square. But the hardest part of this is inside there. It wouldn't fit it has to be able to fit over that rod. And it wouldn't fit, so I spent a day drilling that out because I had the right like limited drill bits <laughs> so you want to drill it out so it's like at least 12 mil yep and so I'll show you what to do with that basically you just gotta slide it over that push it right down in and just lock it into that nut inside because it's locked in. Okay, and then you just gotta get the Allen key, which we'll you need this Allen key here for this part. Try to put it in that way, and no, that doesn't work that way, so you have to put it that way. I've already loosened this, so it shouldn't be too tight. And 
what I'm going to use is a one of these plumber's tools. And you basically want to put that on there to hold it so that doesn't move. And then undo that. And I'll show you what it looks like when I take it apart. Okay, so this is what's inside there. So that's that's that rod and some sort of cartridge thing. But yeah, that basically that that's the that's the bolt out of the bottom. So that basically when that when this thing's inside the fork, that goes screws into that part. Yeah, so you just take that out of there and get some um degreaser on it and clean it up and just put it aside yeah so I just put put uh, each four components in separate bags but this yeah this is that um see that there that's what you had to make the special tool for to hold that so you can get a close view of that now so cool yeah here's the other one and that's the bolt underneath. Oh, another thing I forgot to say is that that copper washer there, you don't want to lose that. And if possible, get another, like a new one, or just use that one. But don't lose it when you take it out. Okay. Uh, see that um, this is the dust seal. So there's a little ind indentation there. You just got to get your screwdriver there and just lift, like, lever it up. And it slides off Check over there and inside there you'll see a spring and you've just got to like lever that that way to loosen that out and underneath that that's that's the, the buggered um, fork shot um, fork seal in there which I'm going to replace. That's what all this works for. It's just that one seal in there. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so I've just levered that out. Let's take it off. That's what it looks like. And that's your fork seal in there. Yeah, I just hit it with some WD-40. it's quite rusty in there okay I'll show you how to um, get the actual fork out so you just want to grab it like that and just get a pull like that keep doing that before it comes out there it is so that that's the full seal couple of um, washer things here. Yeah, so you want to get some um, degreaser. I'm using this stuff, got it from Super Tech Auto, pretty cheap. Yeah, you just want to give it, give everything a good degreasing. So you can see in there, it's quite rusty and just want to clean all that up. Oh, uh, the best thing to clean this is a toothbrush and you put your degreaser on it just uh, see there's quite a bit of rust in there you just want to scrub all that rust out and then leave it to soak for like five minutes and hello I just found this part in the bottom of it just so that sits down right on the bottom there so just don't lose that part but yeah it just goes um like that back in there okay so the reassembly of the uh motorbike fork so if you look in there you see that there's a bit of an indent that part there has to go in there so we'll just drop that in 
And just make sure it's in there properly. And what we'll, we'll just check if you get uh, this one. Put it down in there. And it should kind of seat in there. Just give it a bit of a spin. That feels about right. Let's put it down on a nice hard surface. So that's good. So just pull that straight out. And put your stanchion, I think they call it, in there. Just drop it straight down. Oh, okay. Next is this one. I don't know if it has the right way around, but it looks like it's going to be easier to put in that way. It's going to use a little bit of grease on it. Now, bear with me. I'm trying to film. I've got one hand. Um, okay, here we go. So I just put a tiny bit around the outside. You don't want to use a lot. Just stop it catching when you put it together. And just a little bit around there. Okay. And then, uh, looks like it's going to go better that way because it, it's a bit more worn on that underside. So, just slide that on, drop it. It's down in there. Next thing to go on, washer. Drop that down. And now I've got to use a special tool to bang that down. Okay, so I've used a bit of um, 50ml drain pipe, you just cut it in half, but if you watch, I'll try to put it on there, and it doesn't like it, so I'm just going to get a heat gun, and I'm just going to bend that out a bit, so that it fits on there nicely, watch the space. Okay, so this is pretty experimental, but you know, we're in a um, coronavirus lockdown, so I can't go down and get the right tool, or it's going to take too long to send it out, so just going to um, heat gun, just going to like soften that up, don't want to burn it. Okay, so this is the tool that I've made. See, I've softened it up and I've just wrapped it around there and it's shaped around it. Around it. So that should slide up and down there nicely. So you just want to just grab that and just push it down and like smash that, uh, that um, whatever it is, that thing around down in there. So you just smash it down in there. And I can't really film and do it at the same time, so... I'll show you when it's done. So I've hit that down and you can see it's gone down there quite nicely. Okay, so I just wanna um I'll put that uh see that rod over there, I'll put that the right one inside there. And you just wanna um fit like just tighten it in there but don't Tighten it up right up just, just so it catches it and holds it in place. Hey, so I found it. It's Ray One Oil. I was looking for this and I found it. Um, you just want to put some around the outside and on the inside. Just a small amount. And it's time to put the fork seal in. So you got to figure out which way is up. And obviously that's the bottom, the one with the lip, that's the top, and just slide her on there, 
I hope this woman thing fits. Now I need two hands for this, so yeah, just push it down into there. Got it started, so you just push that down in there. And you just want to use that tool again. And you just bang it down. Okay, so uh, I had a bit of trouble getting the fork seal in. So I had to make a bigger tool. And um, basically that slides over the top of that. I hit the, hit the top of it. Put a block of wood and then a hammer and just give it a couple of whacks and that, that drove drove the uh, seal in. But yeah, I was a bit worried it wasn't going to go in, but it, it got went in there eventually. Okay, so uh, I've uh, put that internal part into the... I'll fix that down there, locked it in really tight now. And it's just a matter of um, reassembling it the same way you took it apart. But um, don't put the cap on yet until you put your fork oil in there. <laughs> and uh, you just have to Google what type of fork oil you need and, and what the... Uh, there's a gap at the top. Um, I think it's 120 mils. It's got to have an ear gap of that at the top, I think. But yeah, if you just Google that... And, and then put it all back together and put it back on the bike and the hard part's done. The seal was replaced. I just hope it works. <laughs> anyway, good luck. Okay. Alright, so drop this in there. Make sure that uh thing in the bottom is seated properly before you put this in. So drop that down. And just use your tool to and just kind of turn it a bit, make sure it's seated properly, which it is. Um, put your nut in there. Make sure you got the copper washer on there. And just, just tighten it up loosely for now. I mean, don't completely tighten it yet. Okay, so I've put all that back together. I've just temporarily just screwed that on just to hold it together. Yeah, that's it. Um, so she's all ready for the fork oil now. So I just put it all together so it don't lose any parts. Yeah, so you just put your fork oil in to the right to the right uh, measurement, and then just screw that cap down and put it back on the bike. All done. All right, the next fork, fork seal's done. This one was really good. It, uh, it was easy because uh, I made that new tool and it just worked. Uh, but I did put a little bit of grease around it because the other one was really hard to get down in there. Just a little bit, just to sort of help it go in there. I don't, I don't know if that's going to do any harm in there or not, but <clears throat> it should be right. Yeah, so just got to put this one together. See, that's that one. Just look like that. And just put the fork oil in it. Job done. Okay. The final entry in my um, Yamaha YZF R6 fork seal replacement. And that's it. It's done. Stoked. Very stoked. Um, yeah, that's the old shitters there. See, they're rusty. And that rust, actually, that's what caused the, the leak in the first place. Is what I believe. But yeah. Really got 
felt some good uh good tension on the neck. Oh, and the um oil gap. Fork oil gap, uh, this when this is completely compressed, I found out it is a hundred hundred and twenty mils from the top of the fork to the start of the oil. So I just use like a roller to um, <clears throat> measure the distance as I was pouring the oil in. Well, hope you liked my uh, video.